I want to talk to the kids. Hi, I don't have a uterus. I did a brand deal for tampons. Stop telling trans people that we're inspirational. Stop telling kids to go on your Patreon and chat to you privately without their parents knowing. Ladies and gentlemen, Jeffrey Marsh. This guy, girl, they, them, is a TikToker known for being, well, known for coming across extremely creepy. And uh, in this video, we're going to show you exactly why. Over the past year or so, they, them, has gone from absolute obscurity to somewhat popularity, and it's a little bit terrifying. So let's find out right now why some people loathe old Jeffrey, and uh, some people, well, I don't know if anyone loves him, her, him, but... I don't know, he's got a lot of followers. So I guess that's nice. I want to talk to the kids. That's a sentence no adult should ever say to a stranger's children, ever. Parents watch the video and then hand the phone over to the young kids. I guess that's nice, making sure there's nothing weird in it. Um, I get asked a lot, are you a boy or a girl? You have a beard, you're a boy, shut up. And I love that question. Don't get me wrong. You can be a girl. Like if you want to, you want people to be nice to you and call you a girl, go for it. But at least fucking trim this, bruz. Just give it a bit of a trim. Shit. If I started saying that, am I to be respected and called a girl? If I start saying I'm actually a woman, like wouldn't you be like, come on, Butterfield, at least trim the pubes off your face, dickhead? If you want me to believe that. Sometimes human beings are more than boy or girl. Sometimes we're something else. Sometimes we're both. Sometimes um, we kind of float in between and sometimes we're a boy, sometimes we're a girl. Sometimes we obsess over things that don't actually matter and have nothing else important in our lives, obviously. Otherwise we just go, yeah, we're whatever gender we are and move on with things. But no, for some reason, it's very popular right now to obsess over it for no reason. Who cares? Um, Cause human beings are creatures and we're wild and exciting. Nothing screams wild and exciting like a knitted undershirt. Mmm, yeah. Stop telling trans people that we're inspirational. But what if I find you so inspirational? What if I'm so inspired by you? What if I'm feeling down in the morning and I find out that someone's caught their cock off and I just go, mate, I tell you what, that's what I needed today. And then I go for a fucking 10K run. Because all I wanted in life is to know that your cock has been removed. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a perfect opportunity to let you know that there is a merch drop right now. Ladies and gentlemen, it is here. What an incredible design. Four people died designing this Woody. That's almost as many people who uh, ended up perishing near the Titanic the other week. Anyway, Australia's greatest bearded comedian riding a big bloody kangaroo with the Aussie flag. You cannot beat it. Head right now to IsaacButterfield.shop. They're on sale right now. And there's many reasons you should buy. It's glorious. It's amazing. But also every single day I'm giving away $500 redos to one person who buys a hoodie. And ladies and gentlemen, here's the great thing about it. I know a lot of people are doing it tough right now. You can either decide to keep the 500 or double it and give it to the next person. Oh my God, I am so generous. These hoodies are made from the finest. I actually have no idea what they're made of. Doesn't matter. They will make you irresistible to the opposite sex. They will make you stronger than ever before. Your dick will grow. Ladies and gentlemen, IsaacButterfield.shop. Buy that merch. Please. Ladies and gents, go and grab some merch right now and support the channel. I really do appreciate uh, that. And we're going to give away some cash this week and we're going to give people the opportunity to double it and give it to the next person because let's face facts, a lot of people doing it uh, pretty tough out there. So let's see if we can give back to the community that supports this channel. Now, back to old Jeffrey. I mean, it's fine. It's a lovely compliment, but you do realize we should live in a world where we do not have to be inspirational for you. Why do people think they're so fucking important? And why do people think that, oh, I deserve this. I shouldn't have to be this. Shut the fuck up. If you've ever said that, fuck you to the moon. You don't deserve shit, all right? You don't deserve anything. You get what you're fucking given, all right? And if you want people to respect you, you have to earn that. Fucking Jeremy Jeffrey Marsh, you twat where we do not have to have the crappiest life that we almost do not survive and then transcend that and then be an inspiration to you. So I guess if you said that you saw a transgender person 
and they have done really, really well. And they've, you know, they've, they've transitioned and they're really happy and you're like, hey, that's inspirational. You're happy with everything in your life. That's a bad thing. Fair enough, dickhead. We have to go back to the beginning and make life better for trans people, period. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd just like to say that I thought this guy's name was Jeremy. Um, his name's Jeffrey. But uh, I had this whole bit in this video about Jeremy, uh, my favorite Jeremy on the internet being Jeremy Wade from that fishing show, uh, River Monsters or whatever it's fucking called. Um, but now it makes no sense. So I'm gonna push that to the end of the video. Uh, so stick around for that because it is very funny. Uh, it's some of my favorite clips that I've ever seen. I did a brand deal for tampons. But why? Who the fuck thought that was a good idea? What are these people in these marketing departments for these companies actually thinking? They're sitting down at tables around the world and they're having conversations like, there's this transgender TikToker who's definitely a dude and we'll call him a girl because we're nice people, but we should get her to you know, promote our product that women born with vaginas put inside them to stop period blood that, that biological women have and probably some trans people from some like, I don't know, blood pill that you stick up your ass or whatever happens. I don't fucking know. But we need to have old Jeffrey in here to sell idiots our fucking absorbent little fucking Crayola looking thing. <laughs> They're not Crayolas. Do not put a crayon up your ass. Point being, these people are straight out of college and university. They are fucking idiots and they should not be listened to or respected. These marketing people are what is wrong with the world. They are the people that put the pride flag on the Ford Raptor. They put Dylan Mulvaney on the Bud Light can. They are the ones that are leading the Go Woke, Go Broke campaign and they do not give a shit. And I tell you what, if you run a company out there, you should be scared. This was 2020 and this is me dancing around. Those are, that's a major national brand paid me to make this ad for them on social media. And I wanted to say two things about it. I'm sure you've seen the hate that Dylan's gotten. Please find this video of Dylan's and watch it. Dylan is an angel. Why are we giving tampons to men? <laughs> Listen, let me just clarify this. If you are a trans person and you're just living your life and you're happy, great. But this pretend shit, this acting shit, like, oh no, I need tampons. No! No! Biological sex is fake. Yes, we all know that gender roles are fake. But they're not, are they? There's a reason that more men work in the mining industry than women do. And more women work in the nursing industry than men do. Because we, as two different genders, choose different roles because they suit our genders better. Because more women want to work with people and more men want to work with things. End of story, dickhead, and your blue eyeshadow looks stupid. But do not say to a trans person, biologically male, born female, male-bodied, no, 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 no. There is no biological criteria for gender that is both universal and a binary in human beings. I think if you make videos and you have an audience and you say things with enough conviction, you can basically say anything and people have to listen. Hi, I don't have a uterus. Because you're a man. I'm non-binary. I'm not calling you non-binary, all right? Fucking pick one. But I'll call you a woman, but you obviously don't have a uterus. I'm non-binary and I wanted to say something about trans-inclusive language and abortion. Oh. Thank you. What I see people doing is using the word women when they mean women and using the word people who need abortion services when they mean people who need abortion services. But... What? Hello, this is me in Rolling Stone. The far right wants this LGBTQ TikToker dead. The far right, do they really want you dead, mate? Or do they just want you to shut up because you're so full of shit? I highly doubt anyone wants you dead. Okay, so you know who Jeffrey is now, but the whole thing is people don't want they them talking to their kids. Hey kids. Can you not, mate? <laughs> feelings can feel really big. They can. Hi kids. It's possible to be like me and be happy. What, dressed as my auntie as a grown man? 
I don't know if that does make anyone happy, mate. Hi, kids. So parents, watch the video and then go back and watch with your kids. I will give him props for telling parents to watch the video first. It makes it less creepy, but still. Can you not address children on fucking TikTok, mate? You're a grown fucking human. And not every kid who watches that is going to show their parents, and that is a little bit sus, but it's the Patreon side of things that makes this all that more fucking weirder. But it gets even worse because he then made a TikTok video encouraging people who, again, may be kids and who have parents that messed up to go on over to his Patreon page where they can have intimate and private conversations and where they can spend more connected time together. Does it say intimate and private conversations? Intimate stories from my past? Mm. I don't know. It depends what he's actually saying in the videos. Like, and where they can spend more connected time together. Your parents screwed up. It's okay to say so. <laughs> That's why I made a Patreon. So a lot of parents do screw up, but just because you think you're a different gender and then you go and listen to Jeffrey fucking Marsh or whatever his stupid prick's name is, does that then mean that your parents screwed up because they're saying that you're not a different gender, you're not non-binary, and then you fall deeper and deeper into this new trend? Is that where we're going with this? So that we could talk about it. So that we could connect in a way that has more privacy. So that we could talk to each other in a way that's uh, more open and stuff that we wouldn't share like in the comments of a video like this. I think you're worthy. You're a grown ass fucking adult. Surely he's not talking to young people here. That's not how this video started. Is I'm gonna go back to the actual start of this clip. And it's obvious that he is a groomer, but it gets even worse because he then made a TikTok video encouraging people who, again, may be kids and who have parents that messed up to go on over to his Patreon page. Yeah, I don't know if he's a groomer. I mean, that's a pretty fucking outlandish thing to say, but it's certainly just, I don't know. I just, I don't like it, mate. I don't like it, all right? You can do it and you have every right to go and do this shit. But I have every right to say, that's fucking weird, bro. One person, though, who stood up to him was this young Muslim lady. And she got hammered by not just Jeffrey, but everyone in his or her weird little circle. Or probably they don't identify as a circle. It's like a dodecahedron. She got absolutely smashed to the point where people found out where her kids went to school. They circulated photos on the internet with her hijab removed, which apparently is a big fucking deal for a Muslim woman. And she got just destroyed. The death threats, the attacks, all because she didn't like what this dude was saying to children. Okay guys, this video is gonna be a bit long. Stop telling trans people that we're inspirational. Stop telling kids to go on your Patreon and chat to you privately without their parents knowing. So that's all she said. A lot of people and she got hammered for it. So what is this group? These people who love people like Jeffrey Marsh. Are they really loving individuals trying to make the world a better place? Or are they just really fucking angry? It turns out they're really fucking angry. And they would go after this lady who's got a young family just because she disagreed with what old Jeffrey was saying. And also, if you want to be known binary, change your name from fucking Jeffrey. It's my father-in-law's name. Jesus Christ. So I just got an email saying, um, pretty much a threat saying, I know they know where I live. And what scares me the most is, um, they have got my daughter's details on the email like what time I leave to drop them to school, pick them up. And it's not a coincidence because both of my daughters, they go to two different schools. All she did was say, stop that allegedly inviting kids to go over to Patreon to talk to you. It doesn't mean he's doing anything wrong. Like it doesn't mean he's doing anything illegal, but it's just weird. Just don't do it, mate. I'm going to wrap this video up by saying I've been targeted by people who actually call themselves progressive. They're threatened to release my information, death threats, all this shit. And it is terrifying that the progressive, the beautiful people, the loving people, these are the ones who are doing this shit. When people got angry about Target having a pride section in there, right? What did one group do? A trans lobby? They called a fucking bomb threat in. <laughs> Because that's what you do. Children should not be being taught the 
these LGBTQIA plus talking points. They should not. They should not be being taught things that are not scientific or accurate or true. They should not be treated as adults because they're not. They should be treated as kids, enjoying the world and learning to be a good person. And I think you can still do all that without falling into this nonsense. And we must remember that most people in the LGBTQIA+, I don't know why gay and lesbian people are in there, but whatever, we must remember that these people are just regular people trying to live their lives. And we're talking about a fraction of those people, but they are the most vocal. And that is why we're talking about it. Ladies and gentlemen, let me know what you think of this video down below. Be a good motherfucker. Peace in the Middle East, Phoenix stinks, and go and grab the new merch and go into the draw to win some cash. Now, that is the end of the video to do a Jeffrey Marsh. I promised you Jeremy Wade because I thought this dude's name was Jeremy. Okay, so Jeremy Wade hosts uh, River Monsters. I don't know if you ever saw that. I used to watch it back in the day. But there is a great meme getting around on TikTok at the moment and it's all about this dude catching big fish and making sexual innuendos that he didn't say, and it's great, let's watch some of them and take this video out. Okay. When you're about to finish and she won't get off. Wait, I'm going to come over there, and he's come there, and he's come there. When you finally get a match on Tinder, but she's a 200 kilogram unit. For a long time, nothing happens. Oh, there you go. Then finally, a take. And this time, it's big. Yeah, this is a heavy fish. It's so simple and stupid, I love it. <laughs> What's this one? When you've been telling her all weekend you're going to destroy her, but you only last 12 seconds. Here we go. Ah. Ah. That's off. I think in a way I might have been lucky just to keep it on my <laughs> This is so great. <laughs> Next one. When she's not showered and is fresh from the gym. Tell you what it reminds me of a little bit. It reminds me a little bit of mackerel, you know, because that's <laughs> mackerel's very oily and you've got that crispy skin. <laughs> There's two to go. Stay with me. When you take a big girl home uh, in the club and it's the best head of your life. At around six feet across and roughly 400 pounds, this female is by far the largest river fish I've ever seen. Little did I realize she was about to produce <laughs> the mother of all surprises. Last one, last one, last one, last one, last one. When she turns up to your house with no makeup on. Gosh. Incredible fish. This monster is a catfish. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, be a good motherfucker, peace of the least. Get the birch. I'll see you later. Do a level bye.